Hi, this is Richard from Cheyenne. In this video I want to demonstrate what you never should do with your tattoo equipment in order to prolong the lifetime of your tattoo equipment. Our service department receives tattoo machines very often where we see damages that come from a misuse of the tattoo artist. The number one and most seen case of misuse is the penetration of liquids into the tattoo machine. You definitely should avoid that any kind of liquid penetrates your tattoo machine. Would you hand over a plugged in hair dryer to your sweetheart who's sitting in the bathtub? Rather not I guess, because this can shorten the lifetime of your hair dryer dramatically and spontaneously. Of course the lifetime of your sweetheart could be shortened as well. And everybody knows that electricity and water are not the best friends. Talking about cleaning of your needle cartridge during the tattoo process, you should take care that you don't dip the tattoo machine too deeply into the rinse solution. When you dip the tattoo machine too deeply into the rinse solution, the rinse solution can be soaked into the tattoo machine due to the up and down movement of the push bar. As the electronics of the tattoo machine is very close to the guide block which holds the grip, the rinse solution can come into contact with the electronics and the result is a short circuit. It is a pity if this happens because you have to do without your tattoo machine during the repair time. And on the other hand, the warranty is void and you have to pay for the repair. Talking about cleaning your equipment, could you imagine cleaning your super expensive high-class laptop with a dripping sponge? I don't think so, as long as you want to avoid table firework. So if you clean your tattoo machine after use, never spray your disinfection solution directly onto your tattoo machine. Please spray it onto a paper towel and wipe your machine. Especially the guide block is a very sensitive part. If you spray the disinfectant solution into the guide block and put the machine upside down, it definitely flows into the machine. And the result is the same. There's an electrical conductor which comes into contact with your machine's electronics and a short circuit is the result. This is something you definitely have to avoid. For those of you that want to know how to clean the machine properly, we created a video with our service partner from the US. The link to this video you can find below in the description. Would you go without a condom when hooking up with someone for a one night stand? Hmm, I think the answer is quite clear. So why would you use needle cartridges without a tight safety membrane? The safety membrane is something Cheyenne invented and it separates the contaminated area of the needle from the clean area of the grip and the tattoo machine. The safety membrane we have in all needle cartridges prevents liquids like ink, blood, rinse solution and other body liquids from entering your tattoo equipment. It protects your customers from infections due to pathogens which comes from cross-contamination and it protects your equipment from short circuits because all of these liquids are electrical conductors. When you don't follow the recommendations I gave before, your tattoo equipment could look like this. This is a tattoo machine we received in our service department. And everything you see here, which is black, should be orange. So a lot of pigments enter the machine. This is not really a piece of tattoo art. This is a danger for your equipment and for your customer. Try to imagine that you carry your newborn or your grandma's very expensive porcelain vase. These are things you definitely will take care of. The same goes for your tattoo equipment. This is your tool for your daily work. It is expensive. So you should take care about this too. Our service department receives very often machines with drop marks on the housing. This comes from dropped machines. If your machine drops, the shock produces a malfunction in your motor due to the very sensitive ball bearings. And the result is a malfunction of your entire tattoo machine. If you want to prolong the lifetime of your tattoo machine, please take care that your tattoo machine doesn't drop. There are many artists that want to achieve maximum hygienical protection for their tattoo equipment. And they put the clip cord cover over the guide block, fold the clip cord cover and fix it with the grip. It is absolutely okay to use a clip cord cover like this or even it is recommended. But please ensure that the overhang is reduced to a minimum in order to ensure hand tightening of the grip and the guide block. In the event you are a user of angled machines, you have to ensure that you don't over tighten the sleeve nut of the grip. 
sometimes our service department receives machines where the grip mount is broken off the machine housing. There's another point I want to share with you. It's not a point we see often in our service department, but we receive many questions from tattoo artists regarding the battery of our Solnova Unlimited. The artists want to know which kind of battery they can use as spare. There's only one battery you are allowed to use with the Solnova Unlimited. It's the one we approved and the one we ship together with the Solnova Unlimited. So if you want to obtain spare batteries, use the same model we ship together with the Solnova Unlimited, because this is the only battery we approve for the use of the Solnova Unlimited. If there are malfunctions, which result from the use of a different battery than the approved one, the warranty of your machine is void. Thank you for joining the video things you shouldn't do with your tattoo machine. If you have further questions, just visit our website and use the contact form or post your questions below the video. Goodbye and see you soon.